Today we're going to talk a little bit about what it takes to make a composite key in a database. We're going to use access as the, as the example. But a composite key is basically the idea that you can have a key that is referenced off of two fields that make each record unique rather than just a one field like an ID field for a particular table. So if you have information in a table that needs to be different for every record for these two particular fields, like two header records, like you don't want the same customer in, in a database at the same address in particular. So your address and your customer name, if they're identical, you don't want to create two. So you can make a composite key to make sure that those stay completely independent from each other. And every time you try to enter a record with that same exact address, the record would be rejected. You can send an error message to the screen and be able to have the customer service person that's writing the address in reevaluate and find the, the old record rather than creating another new duplicate record. So that's one situation that you might want to use it. Another situation here I'm going to show you in a database that I've created. Now, what I'm going to do is, is in this situation, I have a project file. When I put it into the My Relationships tab in Access and I, I pull it in, you can readily see that the, the key field in the project table is just this project ID. But now for the script table, what I want to do is I want to have the script broken into several pieces. And I'll call those pieces subscripts. And those, those little pieces of script are, are, I'm going to film one part in front of the green screen. And then we're going to go to a particular location and we're going to film the second part. And here's the script that goes with the second part in front of a location. And then this setting field would capture where that location is going to be. So it describes the location, gives the script that we're going to have the person that's on screen say at the time. And then the next piece might be back in front of the green screen or, a or an entirely different location. So in this case, what I want is I want the project ID to be connected to the script ID. But what you'll notice is that it creates a one-to-many relationship. The one side that you'd expect would be uh, in the script table because you'd expect only one script to go to a particular project ID. But because there is a composite key right here, it recognizes that this side is going to be a many side. So when I actually enforce referential integrity and click OK here, you'll notice that the many side is on this side. Now, in a typical join, you'd have a foreign key and a primary key. And so what I'll do is I'll go connect my idea table. And connecting that idea table to this idea ID here and this idea ID here, there's going to be only one idea ID record in a single in, in this table. There's going to be many records, but this project would only want to connect to one of them. So when I draw this record, it will give me an enforced referential integrity here. It'll give me one record here for each in entry here. Now I could have multiple projects. That's why it says the many side. So one ID, ID here could link to multiple projects. In reality, I'm not going to let that happen in, in the database. Uh, a project is going to capture one idea and run with it. Doubtful that it'll have any other ideas, but this is our idea table there. So what this ends up developing is the ability to have the many side be in another table where you get a single record in one table connecting to multiple records in another that have a unique identity in the respect that they all belong to that one primary key that's being linked. So I hope you've been able to understand what I'm trying to get at here. And I uh, there's other videos on the screen if you're interested. And I, I hope you join us again. Thanks. If you enjoyed the content that you saw today and would like to help me grow the channel, hover your mouse over my picture to the left and click on subscribe. There are also other videos showing on the screen that you might enjoy.